Hi guys, so I am here today with, I'm so behind on my reviews. It's just, oh, ridiculous. You know, and a main reason why I was so behind on it because I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep doing them. You know, I got a lot of feedback, you know, there was, it was pretty much 70-30. I did a post, okay, let me explain. <laughs> let me explain what I'm talking about. So now that I own my own business, you know, I was kind of torn on whether I should continue doing my things. You know, I've watched all kinds of drama unfold on boards and everything about other vendors bashing other vendors. Um, and I will never bash another vendor. I, you know, I have the utmost respect for these gals, especially now that I see what goes on behind the scenes. Like, you guys have no idea. <laughs> you guys have no idea. <laughs> um, you know, but then I was thinking, even, you know, in my other videos, I've never bashed vendors. It's just not my style. You know, um, I do haul reviews. I love buying from under vend vendors. I don't even melt my own wax really. Like, you know, it's just, it's not the same. It's not the same. I am still a customer. I am still a consumer. And I still love the people that I buy from, you know. Um, and so I'm going to continue doing them. You know, I just... I believe there's a way to handle things. If you get a bad haul, if you get have issues with your order, I don't think that you need to just start bashing the vendor. I think that, you know, the vendor needs to know how, what's going on, you know, and you need to talk to them about it and see if maybe something happened or you know what I, you know how I am. I always give the benefit of the doubt. like. If you've seen any of my videos, you, you know that, you know, um, and I'm not going to change that. You know, I will always give the benefit of the doubt and I will always give my honest opinion and I will always do this after I contact the owner, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, if they have a chance to make it right, then I think that they should absolutely deserve that chance before I give them a review. Uh, if the vendors, however, are not willing to make it right or they ignore you then I think the customer should know about it whether I'm a vendor or not you know what I mean I just I just can't I can't imagine you know just knowing something and letting now letting one of my customers or someone that I'm well acquainted with on the boards go and do it without me ever reviewing my experience with it you know um, I just, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with that. You know, I just couldn't. So I'm going to continue doing my reviews and I'm going to continue being respectful of the vendors and I'm going to continue ordering from people because I love supporting all of these. You know, most of these women who are doing this are either retired, stay at home moms, or, um, they, this is how they make their living. You know what I mean? Like, how could you not support that? Like, of course I want to support that. Like, I'm all about that. I'm all about small business. And so, you know, I just, I'm going to do it and I'm going to love it. And it's going to rock. And, you know, I mean, it is what it is. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and switch gears now. And I'm going to start doing one of my reviews. Yay. <laughs> So the first one that I'm going to do is Bit of Bliss. The owner of Bit of Bliss is Melissa Burton Ash. And um, I had never tried her stuff. And I was in a round robin. You probably, I, I made a video of it. And so you probably saw, you know, it. Well, um, the tart that I received from her, I didn't get hardly any throw from at all. And I, you know, I was like, okay, I was like, this sucks. Is it the warmer that I'm putting? Because I didn't know anything about it. And I didn't do my research before and, you know, all of this other stuff. And so I went on her page, you know, I was kind of looking around and I messaged her. I'm like, hey, so I received this tart in a round robin and I didn't get any throw from it. But I want, you know, I want to be able to actually try your stuff. I was like, so is there any way that you can just throw, you know, I'll give you 10 bucks and you can just throw whatever, you know, the little, um, scallops 
in there and I can just test it out. You know what I mean? Because I want to see, you know, and I was like, and what type of warmer do you suggest? And, you know, does it need to cure? And, you know, all of these other things. And um, she's like, yeah, totally. Like, she was really sweet about it. She's like, you know, let me, I'll just go ahead and invoice you real quick. And she literally shipped out like the next day. This was like a month ago. Like, I'm really behind on this. And um, so I was really, really excited about it. Okay, so I received my order in, and the w scent tart that I got was a cherry lime tart, which is normally, like, crazy strong. And I put it in my Glade warmer, which is the 20-watt hot plate, and I just didn't get anything. Okay, so when I got it back in, at this point, I had realized that my Glade warmer totally blew. Like, I hate Glade warmers. Like I hear all of this hype about it all over the place. And I just have had the worst luck with my Glade hot plate. I don't know if I just got a bum one, but it's not something that I'm going to go and repurchase to find out if I didn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and I've heard so many great reviews about it. So I was super bummed that I didn't get it. You know, I was like, ah, what? You know? <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. So anyways, I got the stuff in and I threw um, a few tarts in my warmer. I threw, I think like a cherry cobbler and um, a lemon meringue pie, both really strong scents in my 24 watt hot plate. And it blew my socks off. Like they were so strong. I was like, okay, so I think that it was my Glade warmer. And that is what I'm gonna stand by. I was like, you know, I was like, I just hate that dang thing. I didn't even get a throw for my pistachio, which is a really strong oil, and BZ from my Glade. Like, that tells you something, because BZ is always strong. Like, there's never any duds from him. And so I was like, okay, I was like, that it has to be that. You know what I mean? And so I switched it out, put it in my hot plates, and it just rocked my socks off. And so, um, and I've only melted those two tarts. And so, you know, I'm... I'm kind of all, oh, no, wait, this is cherry cobbler. It was a cherry, gosh, I, I just saw the bag, too. I misplaced the bag. Anyways, so I'm just going to go through the scents that she sent me, and honestly, I was only expecting eight, um, eight scallops, because, you know, I was, take, I was like, ten bucks, you know, a couple bucks for shipping if she ships it first class, um, and then a buck per tart. Well, she sent me 10 tarts and she shipped it. You know, it was only a couple bucks. She did send it first class and it was nine ounces. So what is it, like 250 or something like that? Um, and so I was like, okay, I was like, that's awesome. Like, super nice, Melissa. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so the ones that she sent me, she sent me three cherries because I, I told her that I loved cherry and I was really bummed out that the original one that I got wasn't working out for me and she sent me a couple bakery let me look and a caramel okay so I'm just gonna start digging in and telling you so this is what where are you at here okay so her little label and then you know it just comes in the bag the single scallop and I'm not sure if that's how every order she um sends out looks I'm assuming so you know I mean they're just scallops but and I kind of went a little off kilt too with my ordering because I was like, just, you know, grab bag, just send me whatever you want. So this is zucchini bread. Mm, this is really good. This is a spicy, you know, there's a couple different zucchini blends out there. This is the spicier one, which I like. I, okay, so I'm weird. I like the spicy zucchini when it's just zucchini and when it's blended with something i like the creamy zucchini because i'm a pain in the ass like that <laughs> uh the next one that she sent me was buttery cinnamon which is sure let me show you buttery cinnamon mm, that smells really good Definitely, you know what? I love this because it's not like crazy strong on the cinnamon and you definitely pick up the like buttery creaminess from whatever that other oil is that she put in there. So this is nice too. Um, caramel apple, I'm not that big fan, that big of a fan of caramel apple. 
but I can appreciate it now that I, you know, deal with it. That's really good. Lots of caramel, not that much apple, which is good in my opinion. That's really nice too. And her tarts, these, I think she like actually offers like, you can do soy, parasoy or paraffin. I might be mistaken though, that might be a different vendor, so don't, you know, take my word for that. Um, but these scallops look like they're a majority paraffin tart. And so the cold throw will always be a little bit light, lighter than when it's um, warmed up in the hot plate. So strawberry lemonade, which is really nice. I'm not picking up a lot of the strawberry on cold. Ooh, the lemonade is really nice, so nice little zip. Maybe I'll put that in tomorrow morning. Um, orange clove. And the way that she sends these, she doesn't send them just like this in the bag. She actually tapes them closed, so they come look like that, and then it's taped on the back nice Ooh, definitely a lot of clove i don't think i've ever actually had any tarts came in that had clove in it oh that's really nice oh that reminds me of christmas like christmas oranges you know how you used to i don't know if you did i just might be cheesy you know you decorate the oranges with the cloves you know around the holidays that's what that reminds me of. Oh, that's so nice. Gosh, I like that. Uh, cherry vanilla. Mm, that's really good. I like that one. That one, cherry. the cherry is not like crazy strong, but it's kind of like a creamy cherry. And cherry cobbler. Which is nice i don't really get the cobbler point of it on cold but um you know i can definitely smell the cherry i'm not really it's a different cherry than the cherry vanilla i'm just not getting the cobbler point of it but i'm wondering if the little bit of the spice i think that's what makes it cobbler is there's just a, just a little bit spicier than anything else so i'm wondering if that will come out here and i ordered the lemon meringue which i told you already i um uh, melted it was really good Nice and creamy and strong, good. And so that was, you know, that was all that I got. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, I, I was really, really happy because I was really disappointed that I didn't get anything because it was my first time trying her. And um, it was, you know, it's always kind of sad when that kind of stuff happens. So, you know, round robins are always one of those things where do not trust don't label a certain vendor from something that you get in a round robin because one you don't know how old that wax is um and it does matter it definitely does matter and two you know what i should have done is i should have went on the website and i should have asked her first and foremost what warmer was best for her wax because it matters and um you know, and I should have found out how old the wax was. And I'm not saying that the wax was old because there wasn't a date on it. But I just, you know, it wasn't mine. And, you know, round robins, what? They're fun. You get to try new people. But sometimes, you know, you get a little bit disappointed. But, you know, I'm really glad that I did this. Melissa, thank you so much. I will be ordering again. Um, I'm really, really glad that uh, you sent me this little grab bag and you know your picks were spot on i love everything you know there's not really one in here that i don't really like um and you know i'm rambling awesome <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go ahead and sign off now and probably start digging into my other ones which i'm super excited about i have so many great orders and so now i can start melting all of them so all right i'll talk to you later bye guys